video, I want to show you how to do these triangles at the end of an entrelac section in the round. So the beginning, we started with triangles because we started with the straight edge and we wanted to make those corners. Then we did some right slanting rectangles, left, right, left, right, left. You can repeat that as many times as you want, but you end again with the right. So you can see here, I did them in the same color. I started and ended with the right leaning rectangles. And after a set of right-leaning rectangles, you can work this triangle segment to go back to a straight row or a straight round. So I'll show you how to do that now. And you'll notice on my sample, I only have my beginning triangles and then one section of right-leaning rectangles. That's fine. You can have any multiple number of rectangles as long as you end with a right leaning one. So as long as you end after an odd number. So on the sock cuff that we're doing for the Rumschiskis in summer socks, I have one, two, three, four, five. And um, here I have one. So that's that's all there is to it. So I'm going to take the yarn color that I want to use and I'm going to start by pick up and knit along the edge of a piece. So this is just like when we started the rectangles. I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick up and knit five stitches just like we did on the rectangle. Three, four, five. So there we go. And then just like the rectangles and everything, you can go back and forth or you can move the stitches by knitting backwards. I'm going to turn. I'm going to slip one purl four. So that's exactly the same. First thing we do is pick up the stitches and do that first row just like the rectangles. Now uh, slip one, knit three, then we're going to do SSK. So see we've, that's different, right? So we've joined it to this rectangle and now we're going to slip one on the wrong side but we're only going to purl three. One, two, three. So we leave one undone. It's just going to hang there. Okay. And go back and forth. We're going to always do an SSK at the end of the right side rows on this. And then on the going backwards on purling we're going to stop one before so now we have two unworked. It's going to get shorter and shorter. It's only a few rows in this before we run out of stitches. So again, you can do it backwards if you're knitting backwards if you want. You don't have to turn and purl. So, you know, I could go turn and purl backwards instead of purling, you know, knitting backwards instead of purling. Um, but you can see already that it's forming a triangle. And what's going to happen is I'm just going to run out of stitches. No more going backwards after a while. And I just got that triangle. You can see the stitches are a little far apart. And that's just normal because we did those, those decreases. But we're going to have to almost double or double the number of our stitches for working a sock in color work onto an entrelac cuff because the gauge is so different on entrelac because the stitches are diagonal than it is on the color work that we need a lot more stitches. So you just go all the way around, you make those triangles and then you'll have an increase round and um, then you're ready to work the leg of your sock.